All right, Karina Baby, for the 31st, we have a room with a door and not much more. Let's see what this one's all about. Miss Buttons lives all alone in a tiny house. It has a room with a door and not much more. One day a kangaroo hopped by her house. Can I live with you? asked the kangaroo. I have a room with a door and not much more, said Mrs. Buttons. But you are welcome to stay. So the kangaroo moved in. Whenever Mrs. Buttons hung her laundry on the line, the kangaroo carried the clothespins to carried the clothespins in his pouch, which was helpful. In a while, a woolly sheep came by her house. Can I live with you? asked the sheep. I have a kangaroo and a room with a door and not much more, said Mrs. Buttons, but you are welcome to stay. And so the sheep moved in. Mrs. Buttons sheared the sheep and knitted the warm sweaters with the wool. One afternoon, it rained. The roof on the tiny house started to leak and water drip, drip, dripped on the floor. Oh dear, sighed Mrs. Buttons just then. The pelicap tapped his enormous beak on the window. Oh, the, uh, the pelican tapped his enormous beak on the window. Can I live with you? asked the pelican. I have a sheep, a kangaroo, a room with a door, and not much more, said Mrs. Buttons, but you are welcome to stay. So the pelican moved in. He stood where the water was dripping through the night and opened his beak like a bucket. It caught all the water while Mrs. Buttons fixed the leak. By now, the tiny house was full. What, what with the pelican and sheep and the kangaroo in a room with a door, there wasn't room for any more. We shall have to move, said Mrs. Buttons. Now, it happened that Mrs. Buttons had a friend called Ruby Cotton. She traveled around in a big trailer. As luck would have it, Ruby Cotton came to visit Mrs. Buttons the very next day. Can I live with you? asked Mrs. Buttons. Of course, said Ruby Cotton. I've got plenty of room. And your friends can come too, said Mrs. Buttons. The pelican, the sheep, and the kangaroo all went traveling with Ruby Cotton. And as far as that tiny house, it has a room with a door and not much more, except for one little mouse family who moved in last week. Baby, be kind to every last person that you meet. I don't care who that person is. Don't hold grudges. Even if that person does something to you that isn't so nice, just don't let, no matter what anyone does to you, don't let anyone ever bring you down, you know? And don't ever hold a grudge back. Like, if someone does something to you, if they make up a reason not to like you, you know, we pray for them, and we just don't hold on to anything negative. Because if you hold on to something negative, it does nothing but give them control over you and over your life. And maybe makes you feel like, you know, you shouldn't be feeling. Because, you know, it's, you know, a good thing to have love and acceptance and kindness. So we make people feel loved, seen, and accepted no matter who they are. Even when people do things that they shouldn't to you, you just pray for them. Now, Mrs. Buttons has the best idea. She lets everyone that she can, you know, someone stops by and she's like, yeah, sure, of course. And then they help her out, they help each other out, and they do well. And then she moved in with her friend, Mrs. Cotton. So that is an awesome story. The next is the three little kittens. The three little kittens lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, we very much fear that we have lost our mittens. Lost your mittens, you naughty kittens, and you shall have no pie. Meow, meow, meow. No, you shall have no pie. Meow, meow, meow. The three little kittens found their mittens, and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, we have found our mittens. Put on your mittens, you silly kittens, and you may have some pie. Purr, purr, purr. Oh, let us have the pie. Purr, purr, purr. The three little kittens put on their mittens and soon ate up the pie. Oh, mother dear, we greatly fear that we have soiled our mittens. Soiled your mittens, you naughty kittens. Then you may be, then they began to sigh. Meow, meow, meow. Then they began to sigh. 
Meow, meow, meow. The three little kittens washed their mittens and hung them out to dry. Oh, mother dear, do not you hear that we have washed our mittens? Wash your mittens. Oh, you're good kittens. But I smell a rat close by. Hush, hush, meow, meow. We smell a rat close by. Meow, meow, meow. The three little kittens. Right? But I really like that story. A room with a door and not much more. And Mrs. Buttons. Miss Buttons had a brilliant idea to just... Let people come and help her out. It's a lonely life if we go through this life all alone, right? You want to be with people. You want to be with people that you love. And, you know, it's just, it makes life better. Life is short. It really is. So never take it for granted. Room with a door and not much more. Let's do... Oh, say, say, you oh, playmates, and come out and play with me, and bring your dollies three, climb up my apple tree, shout down my rain barrel, slide down my cellar door, and we'll be jolly friends forever more, more, more. It was a sunny day, she could not go out to play, she said with tearful eyes, my dollies got the flu. Boo hoo 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 hoo. I ain't got no rain barrel. I ain't got no cellar door. But we'll be jolly friends forever more, more, more. Green baby, I love you and I miss you. And I'm just, I'm so sorry I'm not there with you in person. I'd much rather be reading the books in person than over the internet. But. I'm grateful for the technology that we have today, and I'm grateful that I get to read you books just over the internet as well. I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you. I hope that you're enjoying your day. I hope that you're content in the life that you have right now, and I'm just, I'm always praying for you. No matter what, I will always be with, there with you in spirit. That sun's the same sun, the moon's the same moon. If you ever need me, just pray. I'll be in your heart. I love you, baby.